Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm going to present you the HGR series. That's I do the grommet retains. This series uses a grommet to hold in the, the, the stud. It also uses a retaining washer and a retaining ring and a receptacle, of course. Um, by determining the proper stud length for this series, you need to just, uh, calculate your panel and frame thickness. That way you can have the uh, proper stud length number. But this also depends on the type of grommets. The type of grommets you can select by um, calculating this frame thickness. And through that frame thickness you get your stud proper stud length number. Uh, the stud length is available in uh, uh, hand operated or tool operated studs. You have this type, a wing head, or this type, a cross head. You have multiple ones, but these are the most uh, applied. Uh, next, you can also choose if you want to use a zinc plated or a stainless steel type, uh, depending on your application. If you need a lot of corrosion resistance, you'll need to, a stainless steel stud. If you need a lot of uh, tensile strings, you'll better be off with a zinc plated stud. So after choosing your studs, the retaining washer and the retaining ring, you also need to choose the receptacle. This receptacle comes in multiple variations. You have a lightweight, you have a normal receptacle, an encapsulated, but you also have two flat receptacles. These flat receptacles are better if you need, if you have already a large panel thickness and you need a smaller stud length. After all these parts, you have a total turn lock assembly. If you need any more information, don't hesitate to contact us at info at turnlock.eu.